Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'll show you how we can use very powerful repeaters field and conditional logic in PureNet add-ons for Elementor. So this plugin is very powerful and it's a premier plugin, so it's not free, but it's not that expensive either. As you can see, it's fairly cheap, but I am not affiliated by any means with these plugins. I'm just creating this tutorial so that it can be useful for you guys. So let's get started. As you can see, we have a form in here in here we have a name field email field and we have a detail checkbox in here so if you click this checkbox as you can see our additional fields is now showing and it contains two fields like product name and quantity if you click this add more button as you can see this whole section is repeating by itself so user can input as many product they want so this is very useful in some cases I will show you how we can create this type of repeater field. We also have a remove button. So if you click this little X, as you can see, our whole section is now disappearing. So I will show you how we can create all of this with PureNet add-ons. So let's get started. So first of all, we need to add a section in here. So as you can see, this is our section. And in here, we will add name and email field. So let's go to this. PAFE section and add field in here we have to provide a form ID so this form ID will be common for all of our fields so the form ID of this field this field this field this field every field the form ID will be identical so the plugin will determine which field belongs to which form with this ID so this ID will be identical for all of our fields so let's give it a name called form one you can name it whatever you want so then we need to add field id so our field id will be name so this is a name field and type will be text and this label will be name so this is our name field so let's duplicate this one and let's name it email again the form id will be identical to this one and this will be email field and level will be email so now we have name and email so then we want to add an option so user can check and add additional information so let's copy this text now add a new field you can just duplicate this one or go to this field pfe section and add a field so again the form id will be form one just like this one or this one and from field id let's call it accept or anything you want and the type will be acceptance so acceptance text will be do you need our product your text in here so as you can see we have a checkbox and the product so let's save this so now we as you can see we have a name email and the checkbox so how we can add condition like if user check this one certain fields will be visible so let's duplicate this name field and let's make it a phone field for example so call it phone type will be tele and make it phone so we want a way that if user check this checkbox the phone field will be visible so how we can make this so this is actually easy so select the phone field go to this conditional logic section and make it enable we have some animation settings as well click this add item button so in here we have actions like show this field and set value so we want to show this field if this checkbox is checked so select show this field if the field shortcode so if show this field if this checkbox is checked so select this field and copy this shortcode for our checkbox go to this phone section again and in here paste the shortcode so show this field if this field now we have to 
choose the comparison operator so that means if we want a way if user check this one okay so we need to set this in here so as you can see we have some option like not equal empty not empty empty equal not equal etc so we want if this one is checked then this will be visible so we want to select checked option in here so if this option is checked then this field will be visible so we are done so let's click update as you can see the form uh, phone field is now hidden by default so if we click this one the phone field is now visible so you can set this condition as many condition you want this is how this net form builder condition works so now let me show you how we can create this type of repeater field so this is also very easy not that complicated so let's create that repeater section so let's add a new section in here and let's make it two column one column we will have product name and another will be product quantity i'm just copying this name field pasting in here so now rename this one so again the form id will be identical to other field so field id let's make it product name it will be text and we'll add a label called product name and let's make this quantity this will be text as well and let's name it quantity so now our section is set you can add as many field you want as many text image or anything you want in this area so that it doesn't matter so for keep it simple i'm just showing this how it works so as you can see our field is now showing so first of all we need to add condition if this section is checked then this will be feasible so how we can do that for whole section that is easy so click this section go to this pfe tab and in here you will find an option called pfe form builder conditional logic go to this one make it enabled so now we have these same settings for our field so for form id our form id was form one so copy this form one put this in here now we need to add our conditions same for this other field as well so if this field id this one let's cop copy this field id because it says it says field id so we just need to put the id in here is checked so we have to make it checked so if this is checked then this whole section will be visible so let's save and let's check if it works let's check as we can see our whole section is now hidden if i check this one the whole section is now showing that is perfect so our condition is now set so now we want to add this repeater section so that if we can add as many section we want so how we can do that so first of all let's add this add more button so let's create a new section and go to this elements and add normal button make it right aligned maybe add more okay perfect so let's see so as you can see this is the button but we want this button also hidden by default we if user check this one then the whole section and the button visible so let's add the condition to our button as well so maybe the whole section to select this section pfe conditional logic enable id was form on and field id was this one field id checked so now let's check if we check this one the whole section and the button now showing perfect so now let's make this whole section repeated so how we can do that select the section go to this pfe tab 
and you will see an option called PFE form builder repeater so go to this section click enable and in here first of all we need to provide the form id the same form id for all of our fields it was form one and in here we need to provide a unique repeater id so if you want to use multiple repeater we have to provide unique id for all of our repeating section so let's call it repeat one and we also need a repeater level as well so you can call it whatever you want let's say call it product repeater set this and our repeater is now set so now we need to create a way so if user click this add button this repeater repeats itself so how we can do that go to this so first of all copy this repeater id we'll need this click this select this button go to this pfe tab for this button and you will see an option on the bottom called pfe form builder repeater trigger so go to this trigger section enable it and first of all we need a form id our form id was form one and for repeater id we need to paste the repeater id for our section so the id was repeater one and for action we need to repeat add the whole section we have two action add and remove so we want to add the repeater section so choose add so now update let's see how it happens so now check this box there's all the fields are visible click this add more as you can see all of our section is now repeating itself that is awesome so now last of all we need to add a remove button to our field so to keep in mind if you want to add remove button like this one this remove button should be inside this repeater so for our add more it is outside our repeater but the remove button must be inside of a repeater field section so let's go to these elements and let's add another icon field just on top of quantity choose here. let's make this choose this one this icon mm, size let's make it smaller and i will make go to this advanced position and i will set this position to absolute and drag it to this area like this so that it doesn't break our layout now let's save this and as you can see we have the button in here so now we want to remove any repeater section if we click this x so we can do that select this button go to the pfe section same for this button go to this builder repeater trigger enable form id was form one repeater id was repeater one repeat one and for ac action we need to choose remove now if we add more and click this x as you can see it's it is removing the whole repeating section that is awesome but if you have only one repeater you cannot remove this by default if you uncheck this this section will be removed so you can just hide this x icon with css if there is only one section i will show you in another tutorial maybe but this is how everything works so lastly we you, you can add a submit section so add a new section and let's add a submit button in here Not this one go to this pfe section and add a submit button in here call it submit form id will be form one same for all of the field and you can set the submit action like email anything you want so let's save this now our form is ready name email if you just choose this one you you they will get additional option you can they can add as many option as they want as you can see and when everything done they can just click the submit button and all this field will be 
emailed or submitted to their email hi guys this that was the tutorial so i'm very sorry about my keyboard noise annoying keyboard noise and in the next tutorial i will show you how we can create a pizza order form so as you can see in here if we check i want pizza all of our pizza option is now showing we have uh, four types of pizzas as you can see user can select any of these then they can select the size and as you can see we have different price for each size and we can change the quantity and we can also order multiple pages for example if we click add more we will have additional options for pages as you can see in here we also have some options called give me some drinks so if we check this we will have some drinks options like drink one drink two like coca-cola pepsi anything you can change the quantity and after that we have a woocommerce checkout form as you can see we can directly check out our order with woocommerce so that is very handy so in the next tutorial i will show you how we can create this type of awesome pizza order form